Is he Raccoon? And yeah, they're already heading towards B for Gambit. Whoa! They aggressively work their way at mid. They get in onto the site. You still have one player who's playing backside. It was net that oh. he gets cleaned up. So Gambit should have full access access onto B right now. The remaining members of Crazy Raccoon just now starting to rotate over. They're all going to be funneling fr funneling in from the defensive side. But what will this retake look like? Medusa good for one on red guard. Medusa good for a second as well. We were just talking about how he was an addition. Already picking up two big kills there. Shados trades it out though. But for this to even be a 2v2 at this point, and Chronicle and Shados for them to be so weak. Ade spots Chronicle. Creeping his way forward. Spike continuing to tick away. Shados drops as well. It's just oh just dropped down to a 1v1. The shotgun was there! Munchkin wins the 1v1. Gambit have mid-map control. This could be seriously problematic for Crazy Raccoon. Yes, Nats, he got up top, was able to cut that off like we mentioned, but they still have some presence there. Nats is going to blow it up, though. Nats oh. was deep behind enemy lines, able to cut that off. But Ade, Ade! Oh, baby, Ade, Ade, good for Ade. two. For the third, no, it's Nats who shuts it down. You can see a little bit of that miscom there that allowed a lot of kills for Nats. Medusa now trying to get positioned up into heaven. The 2v2, and it is Gambit low, but they do get the spike down in this round. Nero Theft came out too, on the side of Gambit. Cage triggered. Crazy Raccoon, they have some time to work with here. This Medusa. Playing up top in heaven. You've got Nath coming in from the opposite side as well. Nath's so weak off of that duel that we mentioned from Ade just a few moments ago. Nath good for one on the red guard. Nath gets a second as well. Crazy, uh, crazy Raccoons, excuse me. At least statistically, you don't expect to find that same success the second time around. See the gravity Whoa. well right back into where he was. Defo and Redguard both get cleaned up. Chronicle trading one out, though. You've got the pinch coming in from in the garage onto B. But for Gambit, they've gotten onto the site. They should be able to get the spike down. You're about to have their hands full, though. Spike a little gravity well cipher trap combination to catch him off guard. Defo down, Red Guard down. Crazy Raccoon on the retake. Great util setup, allowing Gambit to not really have to peek too much and give themselves up here before the end. Shados is going to take position outside Boathouse, though. And they have weapons, right? It's not like they're just rocking the Sheriff's Chronicle saw a couple of players go by, though. But Fisker wins a big one. Nat's able to trade it out, but the utility causing some damage. Shados in a great spot! Shados in a great wow. spot, but no! Another round in favor to push him off of those confident angles that you were just talking about. Fisker got an early flash down long. And now oh they have dear. a great idea of where they are. And you don't check the 50. Nets able to get two. Medusa gets what? one as well. Seems like Gambit does not have their shoes tied on these entrances just yet. That's going to be another round. Good few pickups here. They need to do some type of damage to start this one. Clears. Yes, the drone goes forward. They start to work a little bit more off of each other's placement. Great movement by Nats to be just over the shoulder of Defo here. Medusa, Ade, everyone's caused spots or trouble in that switch spot. Let's see if it happens again for Gambit. Defo taking a little bit of a tag off of the nade. Flash from Shados up mid. Nobody's this there. Hiding spot. And again, Defo and Medusa just on the other side of the wall from one another. Defo has started to move forward. The spike is still down back towards B, which is very similar to what we saw a couple of rounds ago. Is. Defo goes in aggressive. He's able to take I one out on it, but Medusa trades it right back. He's able to get two. The neural theft comes online. Everything's been given away. They should know that the spike is further back now as well. Medusa dropping the cage. Seekers are coming out. Crazy Raccoon are throwing everything they have at Gambit right now. Incredible value from such an early round ultimate from Cypher. You see everyone, you see everything, but Gambit has used what won them placement in the earlier rounds. Remember Nats getting up to heaven. They can walk through. They find this timing and Redgar as well. Death alone in a 1v2. Defo's weak. Defo's out. It's just down to Redgar. 13 seconds left. He's going to have to get onto site. He's able to get past Nath. All right, so the first... Vision window comes out and Nath lands the shit. Those alts you were talking about for Gambit or Hup Oh! Medusa gets cleared out. It looked like he had something on the depot and was able to tag him up. He's happened. Oh, they know pizza. Oh, nice shot from Defo. You're right. It was opened off from the Seekers to give that positioning away. It was a sitting duck there. Even if you clear it out, they know what corner you're sitting in for Defo. It was a game of patience at that moment. Didn't have to wait very long. They turned their attention towards A. The flash out to make sure there's nobody in switch like you called out. But Ade able to clean the first one up as Defo drops the op. Not going to be a problem any longer, at least for this round. Gambit with the numbers advantage. Haven't been able to say that very often. As Nats on the tap. Ade, Ade the anchor, no, not able to get anything going either. Gambit finally 
find them up cat, which is going to make Crazy Raccoon react. But again, it's the gambit to mid B. It's the map and away left. from some of that utility. Medusa almost with a clear shot. Cypher Gate doesn't help him. Numbers advantage in favor of Gambit yet again. Three members remain on the side of Crazy Raccoon. The spike has not made its way onto the site yet, but <laughs> three fifths of Gambit has his Ade is gonna drop as well. Nats makes his way back into the site. Nats looking to make some magic happen, but no, he drops. Nats is already good for three. Eight seconds left. Can Munchkin do anything to delay the plant to try to push him off? No. Spike goes down. Munchkin does as well. Shados cleans that up. Is in a spot to blow it up. Will he go on chat? Medusa good for one. Medusa good for two. But that's all. Shados is able to tra trade it out. The spike is down though, and that buys them time. Look at where Fisker is. Fisker's in a great spot. Chronicle can't easily get back to the spike. What? An excellent adaptation from Crazy Raccoon. That cosmic divide comes down from Crazy Raccoon. They throw the brakes on where Gambit were headed. They start to pull back, work across mid to get in towards market. Net. Oh, the trap! Cancels here, but I don't know. You spotted no depot. Was able to clean that up. Net drops. Fisker still back sight. The spike is now going to show up, but Fisker. Alone in a brutal oh, spot. No! Unfortunate flash there as Defo is able to clean him up. Gambit have full control of B. They're going to get the spike down as well. The two remaining members of Crazy Raccoon okay, showing up left. on the defensive side Quite and they're going to have to bust the move here. The spike has been planted. The deuce has already been tagged up. Oh, and they know where he's coming from. You get one, you trade oh. that out, but that's all they get. Gambit gets a four. Crazy Raccoon at this point. It's an Ahade in the smoke. What's going to happen? Ahade's getting pressure from both sides. How does Nats get away with that? And the Neural Theft is online. Munchkin's in a world of hurt. You can't continue to leave the middle of the map open or Gambit are just going to waltz their way up and get everything that they want. The uh, the Bladestorm does not connect, but Shados does. Oh Redguard gets word. across the middle of the map as well spike as the spike goes down. Medusa in a 1v5, a prime. We're about to see why. Oh my god, look how far they're pushing up, Doug. You talked about how their pistol was going to be excellent, and again, on full display, Shados and Nats oh, are able to word. get two. But the thing is, for, for Crazy Raccoon, they've worked towards A, they have long control, they're going to farden, they're going to get the Ultra in the Munchkin's hand as well to start to prioritize that. Whoa. Ade in a tight spot, he was able to get one, but got traded out instantly again, tight! They continue to play these tight angles, Shados is good for three, but Nat is in a brutal spot. He's got 12 armor. The thing is, all he's got is a classic, too, and now he knows where Chronicle is, so he can play that aggressive! Is that a 1v2? Nat just down to 20 HP. The spike is not on the site. Redgar swings out. Gim can get into his site. The rotation's now coming around. Nat's on the heavy lurk. Will Crazy Raccoon be able to hit it in time? Chronicle read that so well. And now he's in a spot where there's no way out for Crazy Raccoon. They're stuck here. The one difference, the one thing that could prove to be problematic is Net. Take a look at how he's getting back behind enemy Ooh. lines. Net has gotten two. Now the spikes are going to be able to rotate out. They have some room to breathe. They could go away, or they just want to double down on this pinch. They want to double down on the pinch. Redgar's dropped. 30 seconds yeah. left. Me too. Oh my word. One They're just remaining. one Spike after down. the other. Done. Net should be able to Pick up the spike, a 1v1. I don't know the net spotted him, but it doesn't matter because the second tinkers clears out all of mid. And it's gonna tag him over towards B main. Look at the rotation from Gambit. Well, the Seeker's just following him the whole way. Nobody wants to take him out. Oh, everybody knows they're going B now. The jig is up, and how can Gambit cool. stop this? Nats gets a blast pack to the face, gets cleaned up, and now Crazy Raccoon with everything that was invested towards B that was invested across mid, they pull off and they should have A for absolutely free riff. They said, let the Seekers roll. Let them know we're going to B. We'll end it A if we can. Wow, Crazy Raccoon just kind of dipping the strata here and there, figuring out what they can do in the middle of the round and calling this one real quick. Now Medusa's in a spot where he's able to cut off the rotations and wrap around behind them, right? So those go through. Medusa creeping his way forward through the Cosmic Divide, and I don't... Okay, so Shados is starting to peek back. Make sure there's nobody coming around. Medusa's about to have a 1v2 in front of him! The op shot was not the problem. Shados was... ...to play in the last seconds. It's always something... They have to invest at that point because you can't leave that left open. Oftentimes, you have to double down on utility or you have to play somebody to hold an angle that they would have had otherwise. Shados patient. Fifth spot to have a highlight anchor play yet again, and wow. he's able to get one. Gets tagged up, and all of that damage from the Viper's Pit, but Nats gets a second. Looking for more, Nats gets three! Can you pressure him? Wow! So good, he's so good in those instances, he's so good in those... The problem is here, the Viper Util just kind of gave everything away from the beginning. Chronicle what? opting to use the Hunter's Fury early on, but they somehow make their way in. Nats 
Nats gets cleaned up as well. They hit the body. They're going to go ahead and drop the Viper's Poop. But Shado's going in aggressive. Trying to clear it out. Somehow lands one shot onto Fisker. But that's it. Ade trades that out. But he's only got one HP left in this 1v3. Should be able to get the spike down. Because the remaining members of Gambit aren't near the site yet. They aren't on it. And I wonder if he's going to be able to dance back into his pit. Okay. So he does have time. They've called him 1 HP. Let's pull back up. Yeah, they've called it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, throw everything you've got in there and then some. Adi's going to have to play this perfectly to make this happen. These are the kind of plays that are asterisk if he's able to pull it off. But no, he's not. Chronicle gets three. Gambit gets a map point. Pressure down long. Adi's going to have to get the heck out of dodge. He's got the spike. No. No way that you... 45 seconds left in the round, and Redgar... Oh, dear. Redgar, Redgar 1, Redgar 2, spike down as well. Redgar's about to get to shot at a third, but with 16 health, not able to do it. Death cleans that up. Medusa does as well. As things are slowly but surely starting to turn their way. Back towards Crazy Raccoon, a 3v2 in favor of Gambit, though. The spike is going to make its way in. Defo. Great play. Oh, that is huge. And their left is huge, but they swing out anyway. Defo's able to clean that up. Neck is the last one that remains, and he's not going to be around for long. A third stopper, the attack from mid, the weight, the patience, and the Viper ultimate not coming. See what they have. Yeah, Fisker, his his previous plays, except for this tournament, have been the raise jet, raise jet, but now Fisker coming in with the jet and Ade too. Two big early kills. Chronicle's going to get one. On to Fisker. Ade looking to get the plant. Chronicle goes to the top spot. Snap. Spikes planted. So the spike is going to go down. You've got Shadoff who's starting to show up as well. Uh oh. We know how good they can be in pistols as well. Crank on the swing. He's just taking the damage. Hello. Swings out and he's stuck. People all around him. Shadoff is left alone in a 1v3. The thing is, you've got two of them that are very weak Neth and Baziar. Shadoff's spot has been given away. Ooh, hides behind the metal. I don't know. Shadoff is going to have enough room or enough time. No. Enough help. Even Redgar. Too short. Something a little different. You see how they're positioned. They want to play tight. Oh. Defo already got one with the Sheriff. Bazu's dropped. They give that space right back up, but they got what they wanted. All right. Fisker's going to use the Leer here to get in. Straight across the rope goes Neff. It looks like they're actually leaving Jet on the ground and let everybody else play the elevation. Fisker's Guardian. They able to take out, of, take out Chronicle. The spike goes down as well. Oh boy. And that wall up there makes it so difficult. They have to wrap around Ness to make something happen. Fisker dancing around, dodging around. Yes, the Guardian's oh. it up, but Defo's already gotten three. With the Sheriff, he's healthy too. Get Defo. Oh, oh my god, no way. One. One HP. Four bullets. The Cloudburst. The swing. Adi's able to back up, but I think he's going for lineups. The tap. There it is. There it is. The lineups there. Defo has to wait it out. He spotted him. Wait, they're low? Uh, Ade knows he landed low as well. Defo. Oh. Defo not able to land the shots. The ghost. It's going to be a pretty hard pressure on A to start things off. Crazy Raccoon. Whoa, just for the Leer. Yep, playing off the Leer. Like you said, Fisker is able to take care of Shadoffs early on. Chronicle's bad sight. Defo is as well. And of course, as I say that, he's not going to be around for long. Fisker is able to take care of that. The spike goes down to 5v3 in favor of Crazy Raccoon. Doable, but not a lot of the members of Crazy Raccoon are given the peaks. Enemy down. A little bit up for worse for wear nice. there. Chronicle with nice. two. Redgar coming in from screen. And it was playing off of the snake bite from Nats, forced him out of that angle. Set up with wow, there. Munchkin. Munchkin with two big kills though. And he has info on where Chronicle is. A 1v3. No dice. Crazy Raccoon. Oh, excuse me, not Defo. Redgar is playing tight. Fisker, the worst player on the site, goes up top. Redgar, good for one. Reset the sheriff. Munchkin, looking to stuff that push though. He's already good for two. Munchkin's played so well to open this map. What can Nats do? Oh man, if only you had anything other than a judge in that moment. Nats playing tight though. Oh boy. Slowing this one down a little bit. Spike is there for Munchkin, but they're waiting for more peaks. I love this. You just calm before the storm from Gambit. They're saying, all right, you make oh, a move. Just wait. Oh, no, no. Okay. That, <laughs> that was close. Defo coming up with another big frag there. The, the blade storms for Defo are where we saw Gambit actually be able to control a lot. You need to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Defo to try to take this map away. 
and that's not drops gets into the smoke pulls it back and he gets the sight line before the opponents do he wasn't able to convert it into a kill cleans up fisker anyway and bazi trades that back out viper util from crazy raccoon going down towards b they can Standing lean ahead. that way but the problem is gambit is three here already and defil's holding mid knowing there's poison no rotate off. off poison orb in mid just comes down Though Defo gets an idea that nobody's crossing that area, he's still holding. You can see Redgar watching back as Crazy Raccoon encroaches into the site. Nath with the wall. Will he have enough time? And he just drops Shados. Wall's gonna go up as well, so the spike should go down. Chronicle's got a little bit of Utah, one point away from having the Hunter Fury online as well. Shocked out wars. Bazi with a little fancy footwork there to stay healthy. Spike continues to take. You see Chronicle Ooh. stepping back. Still has one shock dart to work with. This is a scary spot, Doug. Testing the structural integrity of that wall. <laughs> Make sure it's not going to cause any problems. There was a one shock dart that we saw. Chronicle drops as well. Ade still playing tight. Nath gets one to Fisker. The ult's going to come out. Bring Fisker back. Redgar had his hands Ooh. full of thrifty round win. What? Moving forward. And they should be, especially on an eco round coming in. Chronicle's going to make them think twice for a quick second. Chronicle looks for the end of his magazine to find Ade, but it does not happen. Counter Viper's pit. Redgar and Defo just have sheriffs as they work their way down below. Spike planted. One benefit is they may not know where they're coming from, but Fisker's swinging out to check it. Defo upgrades a weapon, as does Redgar. Rifles online, and this becomes a Big potential more winnable situation than it was before. But you still have to deal with the Viper's Pit. You still have to deal with Bozzy, and good. You check that box. That's done. It's just Ade playing outside of his... Oh, for now, he spots Defo! Ade still has 31 armor. A little ring around the Rosie, and I don't know that Ade knows but the timing's right. Ade comes up huge for Crazy Raccoon, a Red Bull. So difficult. You can get up to 410, but until you get past that, you haven't really advanced at all. Neff gets the opener on to Neff, so Hunter Fury's gonna come out from Bozzy as well as they try to entry onto the site. Shadosh try taking one with him, but no, drops Red Guard. Looking to anchor down the site. He's gonna take a shell to the face at the hands of Fisker as he's out as well. Numbers heavily in favor of Crazy Raccoon. Just two members remain on the side of Gambit. Make that one. It's Defo. He's got of Gambit into the site to get in and to retake. Now they're chasing Defo around. Blood in the fancy, but haven't been able to convert it into much. Defo. Frenzy. Nope. Nothing doing. Gets a bit of overheal. Back up to healthy. The wall actually comes in yeah. early. Set up on the side of Gambit to try and deter this. They don't know what... <laughs> Crazy Raccoons is like, wait, why? We'll set up our <laughs> own. We don't like this at all. Great movement by Munchkin and the rest of Crazy Raccoon is in B. Oh. Slowly but surely creep their way forward. Court kill traded out from Shados as he's able to get two and... Shados! Up. 30 seconds left. Munchkin using the Empress. So the spike is down. Crazy Raccoon... Gonna have a hard time getting to it, I believe. Yeah, if Nat swings out, he should have a sight line on the it. Bulldog it's Chronicle. Chronicle. The Bulldog. Gets Chronicle gets the second. Nat gets the third. Another. Does he have it in him again? Everybody's up near y'all. This is kind of like a well we have to round, and they're gonna be pushing through right now. Gambit are more than happy to receive Crazy Raccoon. What a defensive hold. And and it really it was all off of the the Viper Util, right? The <laughs> yeah. wall was up and. Get Crazy Raccoon around. Like, Alright, baby. We're going. We hope you're ready for us. And Gambit, we're just able to handle that beautifully. Defo gets over all once again to help control that map and further rounds. Fisker and the rest of the team. Oh, no. Two in sight now. The rest of the team goes back. Long B for Crazy Raccoon to hold. Redgar has the heal. Or mm -hmm. the res, excuse me. So things go a little sideways. Depending on positioning, they can try to equalize the numbers again. Blade Storm coming out. The Leer. Defo's the one going hunting this time around. Defo. Good for one. Defo. Second and a third. Looking for more, but no. Bozzy stops it. Chronicle trades that out. Ade's left alone. The tap has started. Nat should be able to get it to half. And that's all the, game, or the Crazy Raccoon are going to be able to do. Yeah. Him getting it to half secured that rattle actually across the middle of the map so they can heavily stack towards A. The info that Shados gathered initially allows him to do that as well, but Crazy Raccoon don't seem to concerned. Redgar was in a great spot, able to get one, but that's all he was able to get. 3v2 in favor of Crazy Raccoon. The two remaining members of Gambit are off site. You still got Defo, who's just now showing up. So full site control for Crazy Raccoon. They have A, they haven't gotten the, sp they haven't gotten the spike down yet. Hunter Fury coming out. Oh, Chronicle's been messed up. Try to make something happen. Defo in a one. Playing tight, playing close. Munchkin good. But on the offensive, we know 
They love to be aggressive. Well, Munchkin is be pretty, be being pretty aggressive as well. He just walls down mid, was able to clean up Chronicle. So they're in a bit of a pinch here. Munchkin gives that space right back up, but for Gambit here, Okay, so they are going to stick it. They are going to commit to Redguard trying to get the spike down. Neff trying to blast to do that. Nothing doing. Defo takes care of Bazi early on. They have long control and they do have one snake bite for a lineup from that. He's backed up. Seems like he might be headed, shooting over that. Yep. As it flies through the air like a soaring eagle. Oh, Nav coming up big. Yeah, it may not matter. So it is able to push him back. Shade us. Drops as well. Nav doesn't have any more. He doesn't oh, have boy. any health either. Munchkin gets four. Yeah, this is spike down strat. They got spike down first round. Extra extra money. Spike down this round. Make sure the util, full util comes in with a buy. Nav good for one. Power in numbers. Defo's able to trade Nav out to get the spike down. As you said, they've reassumed control of B. That wall off is actually... Could be pretty problematic here for Crazy Raccoon. They're going to have to bust their way through that. It is their wall. Yep. Fisker tried to go what up. Awesome Defo hole. rips him right back down. But what else did Crazy Raccoon do in their attempt to get back into his bunch? Just one away from having Ade. Empress online. Ade is good for two. Dancing around 20 HP and seven bullets. Tap. Go, go, go. Shados gets that. Munchkin was on the tap. Chronicle swings around. The timing is gorgeous. As Bozzy is left alone. Shados is so weak. A thrifty round win. Crazy Raccoon, a heavy stack towards A, playing all around 410, as you see, and for good reason. Yes, this girl. Already able to get two. They're going to give some of that space back, back, but the damage has been done. They've already gotten the two kills they're looking for. That's absurd. Just, just the, almost the collat coming in might have just been a, a, a sidestep into the headshot. Nats drops Fisker. They hit that pivotal player out for Crazy Raccoon, and now it is a 4v3 as we continue. Woo! The site is what they need, especially a look person at down. Look at Nats. Look at Nats. The rat working his way in, quietly dissecting all of what Crazy Raccoon have set up. He's able to get behind them, grab a pick, and now from that, Gambit are actually going to rotate back towards B. You've only got net left. there, and for Crazy Raccoon, you're at such a numbers disadvantage. I, I mean, you have two options here, right? Either you gamble, stack two on the same site, or split things out. Net able to take care of Nats early on, but that's all that's going to happen. The spike should go down, leaving Ade in a 1v3. Spike planted. Hopefully doing a bit of damage on the way out. He's seen all eyes on Ade. And he will try to do his hardest here to get around the wall. Uh, on the side of Crazy Raccoon to deny that entry, but oh. Nath, for one. Fisker and Munchkin trading it out there as gunfight ensues down be long. Slowing down after that, knowing the operator is just going to be taking people out. Almost a headshot. That's a tough one from Fisker. It's again. That was a big kill out from Nats, too. Ah, just gets stuffed out from Fisker there. You talked about it. He tried going in aggressively mm -hmm. again. This time, Fisker snuffs it out. The res is going to come out from Bozzi as well, so numbers leaning heavily okay. in favor of Crazy okay. Raccoon, but they've gone up top. <laughs> they've gone around it, and I don't know that Ade knows. The thing is, once the position's been given away, Ade's going to be able to pinch in. Neth creeping his way one forward. Yeah, Neth good for one. Shade off. Not getting anything going either. Dang, you've got Fisker with an op. Waiting for the angle. Doesn't fire once. Waits does, and delays the second shot. Gets cleaned up at the hands of Defo's Blade Sword. They can still decide where to go. They don't even have the spike yet, which isn't a bad thing. They're just knowing that they're controlling the map. Viper's Pit and Kitchen here. There's just so much denial of information. Right, and off of that, you see Gambit are playing off. Nats is going to continue to be a nuisance, and that's just going to draw so much attention from Crazy Raccoon. But Ade going in aggressive. No, oh, Defo swings around the blade storm, cleans oh, that up. Numbers in favor of Gambit. The spike's going to get onto site unless Bozzy has something to say about it. Dancing around, Bozzy good for one, but that's all Bozzy's good for. Defo gets three. The spike should go down. Wall Nats in a 1v2, so this is, this is not the most miserable of circumstances to be in, but a difficult one nonetheless. If he gets the timing right, he can isolate it to a 1v1. Neth able to do that. Redgar out. Defo has the op, has the blade storm. Spike continuing to tick away as Neth heals up. Stubbed his toe. But still has to wait. The tap. Defo. Oh See the spike. boy, he thought about it. Oh boy, he thought about it. The cloud versus Neth looking to take. Offensive positioning here. Second cloud burst by continuing to take the dash across. Defo's just playing oh. behind. Yeah, it's just a little bit of cat and mouse, and Neth is just not going to get a chance. Defo refuses to give him the opportunity. The cloud burst misses, but I don't know that Neth is going to have time for it. 
No, nope. really not Learned yet. It. He's running for the fences. Beautifully played by Defo. Continue to lure him in. Lure yeah. him in. Lure no, him. see Shot. him moving up. And what is that? Nah. Climbing some mountains here. Hunter Shiri is going to come out. It's going to be traded out as well again. Ness finds a cheeky spot. But is he, I mean, is he even going to get a shot at anything? You will not kill Therese my is going to come out, bring Chronicle back online. Yeah, he has to give it back up. It was dope. It just didn't provide <laughs> very much. Spike and Speed to keep away at 5v4, Defo. make that a 5v3. As Defo is able to take care of Neth going, looking for more. Spike taking Defo, just nearly missing that shot, but it doesn't matter because Redgar was there to clean things up. Ade is the last experience from these players, understanding, and again, never down and out. Being able to pull rounds back, how they eat. You see some of that rotate over, right? Like Gambit have shown that they love playing mid. They love getting into kitchen. Yeah. That forces Bozzy to cheat over this way. I feel like if nobody goes up there, Nats is going to. Okay, Chronicle does first. So they leer mid, knowing the smoke is there. bozzy has got a lot of work. Oh, boy, he's got a lot of work. He's able to get two. Nats stops that. Defo, so weak, 30 HP. Potential. The spike is in kitchen, and there's nobody around him. Nats and Defo. In the 2v4, and Defa is 4 health, 4 HP to his name. The momentum has been stopped. The rounds may tell a different story now, and it's going to be Crazy Raccoon trying to sign off on this, but Nats rips a page out of that book. Will he be able to get more? Defa, 4 HP, left. holding steady for someone to peek him. He looks like he'll back off of the situation start. I mean, this would be a back-breaking clutch. Nats! How? They are able to pull it off. Nat's good for three, and they're going to get onto A. They're going to invest the Viper's Pit as well. Def so Devil's going to show up a little bit late, but the Rez coming out from Neth should tip odd slopes. Oh. Spotted. The last thing is going through, and Defo, De Defo just can't really be a factor here. Yeah, he gets cleaned up. The shock darts there. Oh. Munchkin cleans up Defo as well. They're going to get the defuse. Baby, we're tied up at 11. Uh. I thought Nats testing the waters towards be long. If he gets an open there, they might make something happen. Excellent shot out of Fisker, the shock dart to push things back as well. All right, so Nats did get the pick onto Ade down be long. But if they rotate off, you've got Munchkin who's taking that space away. Exactly what I was about to mention. Munchkin was there. He knew that they lost control of B. He also knew that they weren't going to be able to work their way A because the wall was up and because of the delay and the you um, investment of utility. Munch well, and the thing is, Gambit have worked have worked tube and kitchen so many times. You almost have to you almost have to check it. Shadows good for one out of Bozzy, and that should give Nats a bit more room to work with. But you've got Nats who's slowing around, and he's the last one there. Fisker's already fallen, and Nats is alone. Nats, his gun's gonna be spotted. Nats gets things down to one v two, but he gets tagged up. Empress online for Shados as well. If things get extra dicey, if things get extra spicy. Knows where one is. 63 health. He's going to have to heal himself up. The tap. The swing off. Shados is as there well. to clean things up. Game. The wall has been shot through. Oh! Bozzy! Bozzy is able to get the kill on the Nats. That's so big. And now look at where Munchkin is. Munchkin has wrapped his way all the way around. Gambit, they have it no us. choice but to go forward. They're going to have to push through. Crazy Raccoon's defensive start. Fisker dancing around, but Bozzy and Fisker are able to do it. Redgar was on the tap. Redgar in a 1v4. The Leer is there as well. The swing off is beautiful. Fisker gets... Defo has worked his way about halfway up. Make sure there's nobody in the garage or working in from Defender Spawn, but look at where Munchkin is. Munchkin's doing a little bit of Nats. He's worked his way up in the kitchen. <laughs> and they can play off of that. Big kill off of Shados. Oh, Munchkin, what can you do out there? Yep. There it is. Munchkin good for one on to Redgar. The spike's gonna pull off. They know that they have a bit more room to work with mid. They can rotate off. It's all gonna come on to Defo early on. What kind of hold do you have in you? A bit of a defense of the Alamo type. As he's gonna have to hold fast. I think he saw a Ooh, pony. Defo. He saw a ponytail. He saw some spike too. Able to get one onto Neff. Bozzy trades that up. A Chronicle taking care of Munchkin. So the lurk is gone. The the chaos hits back sight. No longer problem. Ade on the tap. 30 seconds left. Ade on the kill. Left. On a Chronicle that's so big. But Gambit. Numbers advantage their way. Ade able to get the spike down. Woo! A little spam. 27. Armor and 89 health has to swing around, has to land the shots, and he does! Now he's got the Viper's Pit online, that's done, but Shados. Shados, who had such a strong performance the first time around, and an opportunity here to bring this back for his team. Snakebite coming up from Ade. 
Spike Whoa. continuing to tick away. Shados just so weak. Shados finds the timing. Shados gets again being the mid. Be a rotate out of the site. Three members. Crazy Raccoon ready for the execute. That's big, but Shados trades it out. Thirty seconds Mad left. Just playing in a little bit of util. Still so healthy, but Redgar was there. Munchkin's down to one HP. Fisker and Ade have a chance at this. A straight up three v three, but Munchkin's just so weak. Munchkin's just so weak, but Ade finds the timing. He finds the shots on the Chronicle. Redgar gets the spike down the wall. What an interesting position. <laughs> Ade's gonna have to swing all the way around, and guess what? Nats is there. Just two remaining on this side. 2v1. Easy Raccoon, a 2v1. Redgar, the captain, able to land the shots. Good for one. A 1v1. Redgar has the res, too. Yeah, Redgar has the res. He's gonna be able to bring Defo back. Fisker should know Fisker. where that's coming from. He comes up top. Fisker has the hide advantage. Oh, the shot, my gosh. But no, it's Redgar.